So Disney Plus finally launched, guys. It is one of the biggest competitors to Netflix. It's going to have a lot of titles, a lot of original content, a lot of blockbuster contents. In this video, we're going to go over all that you need to know about Disney Plus, the pricing, the compatible devices, as well as the new titles. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash that notification bell. If you guys have any questions or concerns, drop them in the comment section below. So here's some of the things you must know about Disney Plus. First of all, guys, starting at $6.99 a month, they do have a seven day free trial, which you do have to have some kind of payment method on file to go ahead and try it out. But after seven days, uh, cancel it or you will be charged at $6.99 a month. Another alternative to buying the service outright is that you can buy it with Hulu, Disney, of course, and ESPN, and that's only for $12.99 a month. So they're teaming up with some of the big names to essentially um, draw you in. So even though Disney Plus will not have the library, the extensive library that Netflix does, it is a beast, guys. It does have a lot of old content, a lot of new content, a lot of stolen or content that they purchased from other companies. And essentially, they're putting this all in a big package and making it really, really competitive. So recently, Disney Plus or Disney actually purchased 20th Century Fox, and that brought a lot of original content over to include to their library. So the Simpsons, you have probably 500 seasons of those, so many seasons of The Simpsons that will be carried over. And you can scroll through, guys. You will have all your Marvel, your Star Wars. You also will have your Pixar and just a ton of new content, guys, as well as old content. With the new service, of course, you can stream on the go, stream on your mobile device, on your iPad, on your computer. You can also download download content for offline streaming. Now here look at some of the originals. Of course, The Mandalorian, that is the big one that everyone's going for. This is essentially a Star Wars story that kind of goes into detail of what happened after the events of the original Star Wars. So, so a lot of people are purchasing the service just for that. But they also have High School Musical, Disney's Lady and the Tramp, The World According to Jeff Goldblum, as well as Marvel's Hero Project. So far as the compatibility, your TVs, your Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, Chromecast, LG TVs, Roku as well as your Samsung TV. So on your computer, you can watch it on your Chrome OS, Mac OS, as well as your Windows PC. For your tablet, you can watch it on your Amazon Fire tablet, Amazon phones and tablets, iPhone and iPads. And last but not least, you can watch it on your PS4 as well as your Xbox One. So signing up to this service is pretty straightforward. If you're on your phone like I'm using right now, you can just go ahead and uh, request a free trial, put in your information. You can use your Apple Pay to actually uh, pay for it get you seven days in and from there you do have the option to uh, create your profile create additional profiles and you're all set you're ready to start streaming now here's the interface on the pc and you'll see the same interface no matter which device you go to so this is actually in the web browser and up top you do have the option to go home this is where we are right now usually they'll have the the trending or the Near content up top. Go down, you can categorize based on Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic. And further down, you have your originals, recommended, hit movies, trending, and just a lot of different categories. Of course, you can search, but if you guys just wanted to make a watch list, they do um, build that directly in. So let's say I wanted to watch Animals of Nature. I'll just click on whatever I wanted to watch and just hit the plus. Essentially, that will add it to my watch list. And now I can go to my watch list. And there it is right there. You can go to originals, of course, uh, movies, as well as a uh, series. So pretty straightforward. Uh, this uh, is going to be a great streaming service. This is going to have a ton of subscribers. And this is going to be a true competitor to Netflix. So that's it for this video. Drop your comments. Let me know what you guys think of the new streaming service. Is this a true competitor to Netflix? Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.